Hello and welcome to yet another YouTube video here on this channel. Today we are diving into Cortex, which I have talked about a couple of times before. I've done one review and one first impression video about it when it first came out. If uh, I f feel or you feel that I am a little slow and some of my words are a little wrong today, it is because I am so tired i slept terribly last night but uh, back to the point i am going to show you some of the features and some of the things i like about cortex because i think it is starting to develop as a really good note-taking app a really good option uh, for a note-taking app especially if you are a writer or a content creator of some sort that is who they are trying to like reach out to also in most of their marketing materials they uh, make youtube videos about like uh, viral tweets or viral blog posts things like that and it has uh, become heavily ai um it has become a heavily like AI application, AI note-taking app, uh, so I think it has a lot of great features. But let's quickly take a look at the pricing, which is actually one of the things I like. If you are just looking for a place to take notes, like all the base features are free, and as they say here, they are free forever. Uh, the free plan gives you unlimited documents, captures, and sources. It gives you 15 AI requests per month, which isn't much but AI is super expensive so it makes sense you get five megabytes of file upload and five gigs of storage then custom elements which are basically templates you get document sharing you get five voice transcriptions per month it doesn't say how long those uh, transcriptions are you get one member and one workspace and you get readwise import on the core plan which is 10 or 14 um, USD per uh, seat per month, uh, you get unlimited Cortex AI base models. Um, so base models gives you Gemini, Flash, Llama 4, Scout, uh, and you also have the premium models which gives you uh, a few more. Uh, so base models only unlimited Gemini 2, 2.5 Flash and Llama for Scout requests. Uh, my guess is that there are other models included here as well, but we will get back to that uh, later. Um, similarly to many other applications, they have like a core plan uh, and a premium plan, uh, which gives you less and more AI um, because some of the models are uh, quite expensive. You get 15 megabytes upload, 15 gigs uh, storage. 50 custom elements and 250 voice transcriptions per month three members and workspaces this is coming soon here you get readwise auto sync the difference here is that this probably syncs with your readwise where while here you actually have to manually import it yourself my guess is that you get the readwise auto sync on the premium plan which is 17 or 21 dollars per user per month uh, that's one gig upload, 25 uh, gig storage, Cortex AI, all premium models, unlimited voice transcriptions, uh, private community and course, and first access to new features. Let's dive into the application. Uh, the elements I talked about, I'm currently on the web version. This application has desktop and web uh, versions. No mobile applications, at least not yet. That is something I will be waiting for. It is important to know that this is uh, like an early stage application it isn't that far in its development even though it might feel like it when you look at the application it is actually in a really early stage um these are the elements i talked about the uh, like um what I uh, refer to as templates. These can be placed in different uh, documents, which is how the application actually organizes things. It is uh, your library and your documents here. So I can add a new document and I can call this uh, blog idea, for example, uh, like this. And now I have a blog idea and I could start writing. So by pressing enter and doing backslash, I get a lot of different options so I can create or link to a document I can insert paragraphs images to do's if I wanted to um, there are quite a few things you can insert a block of code you can highlight you can create a new element uh, group you can create a new element you can create a new source a new author 
here you have some of the default elements. So let's say I had uh, a hook, for example, I could press enter and I could add a hook here and I could start writing out my hook. Uh, so quite a few things you can do here. You can also press at to actually uh, link to another document. I have some uh, documents that are already in here. Here you can see uh, the elements actually in use. Um, so this is the 4C creative planning. Uh, so here you have the elements actually being used somewhere. Uh, so this is a really uh, fun way to implement template. Uh, I think the idea of the um, elements here is a little difficult at first, but it is it gets easier as you start to understand it. Uh, you also have something called connected messengers. Uh, and this is uh, the AI models. Here you can see some of the models. So on the uh, free plan, which I'm currently on, you get Gemini 2.0 Flash, you get GPT-04 Mini, uh, and that, and Llama 4 Scout. That is what you get with the uh, pro plans you get more uh, you get more uh, models and there are actually quite a few models here to choose from even perplexity deep research sonar pro uh, so quite a few here uh, that you could choose but here this is basically how you would use AI in any other application like this any other like chat application note-taking app where you can like discuss your writing with AI for example or get new ideas or things like that you can also see your chat history I can also mention things so I can mention specific blog posts um, and discuss those within my uh, within my chat here uh, you can also search the web if you wanted to you can also click plus here to add multiple different uh, documents to this chat. Let me just go ahead and quickly close that. I have the Ask AI, I have connected messages here. Uh, and I wanted to show you the Ask AI, that was what I was trying to click. So this is some of the same things, but here you have more of an AI assistant. Uh, so here you can do a lot of the same things. You can learn how to use Cortex in here. You can create, you can market, you can plan and just use AI within the application. Um, there is also a capture functionality here, which I am super excited about because a lot of the applications have capture, uh, but not every application has a chat and a chat capture, like sending messages to yourself is something that a lot of people do. Uh, so this feels a lot more familiar than, um, than like having an inbox feature, for example. Uh, so I really like this chat here. Um, that is something I am a big fan of, uh, having this chat as a capture uh, functionality. I can also create a new chat from right within here. Let's go back to the uh, capture, but I could create a new like AI chat. So I will call the AI stuff AI chat and I will call this like chat capturing. Uh, so the inbox is just for capturing ideas quickly and I can actually connect it. So let's say I had uh, a great idea for my blog post. I can go ahead and I can actually add that a uh, blog idea and write a great idea. And I can also uh, continue this thread. Uh, so um, it makes a lot of sense if you've ever used social media to capture this way. I know that I have actually sent myself quite a few quite a few uh, messages. Uh, so I really like, uh, I really like this way of capturing. I am a big fan of it. You can go into full width and a focus mode as well. If you ever needed focus mode, there is also version history here. You can share this document. You can, as I said, open up the chat here. This is supposed to open like this, but I don't know why it opens just in half. Uh, but you can do that as well, like I can make this smaller. Uh, so there are uh, quite a few cool features about this application and you have the search bar there and you have 
your library here with like sources, which are things you add. Uh, I've seen like books or uh, be added to this. You can sync it with Readwise. There you can see your authors, your highlights, and like the real source, for example, the book. If I press new source here, let's do that again. You can actually add a book, a website or other. So you can have all of your like highlights in here as well. Uh, so the application looks really interesting. It still feels a little unfinished. There are still things I would like to see. First of all, like a mobile application, uh, but um, uh, there are also other things that feel a little unfinished. That doesn't mean that the application isn't ready to be used, but I think it is mostly tailored towards writers, content creators, people who write a lot of things. Uh, it does a great job at implementing AI. The application has, a, I would say, a small learning curve at first uh, with the elements uh, and also the capture and just everything happening in the application. But I wouldn't say that it is super complex, but you will need to sit down and actually just learn some of the basic stuff here. Um, but I am a big fan of uh, this application. I think this is one of the more interesting ones I've seen and one I will continue to keep an eye on and make videos about because I think it does quite a few things right. As usual, I'm not able to cover every single feature in my videos, but if you have questions, feel free to leave them down below. I will try to get to them as soon as I can. And if you are someone who writes a lot or creates content, I think this is at least worth checking out. That covers it for today's video. Uh, if you have any questions, leave them down below. I will try to get back to you as soon as I can.